This is like very college, Jane. This this would like come on like your 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 like what do you call those like establishing shots? Yeah, it might be real. Like people crossing the street really fast, and then like the cars. Exactly. You know exactly yeah, yeah, what I'm saying. Welcome to Columbia University. I'm gonna keep this sound in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Guys, I'm gonna keep all this sound. All like some lo-fi like beat up <laughs> like a day in my life. <laughs> guys, welcome to my final Columbia vlog. I'm doing a voiceover for a change. This video covers my last few weeks at Columbia, but I will have one more summer NYC vlog after this. Later in the video, you'll see me graduate, and I also have clips from spring break at the end, but for now, I'm going to tell you about my dissertation. My dissertation is what occupied most of my time between spring break and mid-April, so these are all clips of me working on it in the library. My 11,000 word dissertation was called From Epistemology to Hauntology, Joyce Carol Oates's ghostly agency in her retellings of Henry James's The Turn of the Screw. In my thesis, I put two short stories by jo Joyce Carol Oates, which took an inspiration from The Turn of the Screw, in conversation with Henry James's original text. And I used literary theories such as epistemology and ontology to argue that Oates asserts her own agency despite being influenced by James. I also did a 5,000 word capstone on the same topic for Trinity College Dublin as I am in the Jewel BA program, more info on that in the description. I submitted my proposal for my senior essay, as it's called here, in November, so it's one semester long independent research project. I did a lot of secondary reading, um, here are all the books I took out of the library. I met my supervisor bi-weekly, then weekly over the course of the semester, and I spent a lot of time drafting, then redrafting, then redrafting again. And I'm pretty sure I reached a breakthrough like only two weeks before the deadline, so it was really intense and challenging, but such a rewarding experience um, that solidified for me my desire to study English at post graduate level. Tell me about your thesis. Tell me what so it's about. Is, uh, about <laughs> ghosts. That's all. Goodbye classes. Hello Libby. <laughs> we are Bye. done. Bye. Get out of here. <laughs> well, we have to be back in a week. We should take off my mask. Yeah, of course. We'll just move out of the way. <laughs> we finished. How do you feel, Libby? Um, <laughs> don't know how to feel. Feeling good. Uh, feeling, feeling so many things. We have an exam or exams next week and then we're done. Crazy. So Goodbye, Yay. Dodge. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Jane. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
Happy birthday to Kane. Happy birthday to you. So I'm delighted to award the Pearl Prize to Jane. Um, Jane arrived at Columbia uh, as part of the relatively new Trinity College GS dual degree program. But despite the fact that she was virtual, despite the fact that she has divided institutional loyalties and a Irish accent, it is all suspicious. <laughs> uh, Jane has been a dedicated and devoted English major at Columbia. She's taken a zillion classes in our department. Um, she wrote a wonderful senior essay on Joyce Carol Oates and Dean James, um, and has impressed her professors with, and I'm going to quote one of them, her quote, great sense of humor, keen critical intelligence, sharp and sustained attention to what's interesting and important. The Caesar Award for Academic Excellence. There were, there were chopsticks. Do you guys want to feature? May I? May I film you guys? Hello. <laughs> That's a lot of focus. <laughs> Would you like to feature in the vlog? So, hello. Smash that like button. <laughs> my way to the Steamy Gala in New York City. Sorry, sometimes I even remind myself I'm in New York. I finished my last ever undergraduate exam today, which is crazy. My last exam at Columbia, my last thing at Columbia. This one looks very, challenges and I have been so proud to witness your resilience and grit in the most difficult moments. <laughs> Brian Lorito, Frank Lee, Bryce Lou, Bryce Lou. to you, the unique, and always inspiring general studies graduates. Round of applause again. Over Jane is back. Here are some photos I took with my family and friends um, at the GS class day. There are two graduation events for Columbia seniors. There's the class day, which is the graduation day for just your school. My school is general studies. And then there's a university wide commencement, which involves all of the schools of Columbia and you're all on campus and you all get your degrees conferred by the president. So this is me at senior cruise. That was the night after graduation and 
that night I was not feeling great. Um, I was like, something's up, I don't feel well, but hopefully I'll be gone the next day. And it was not gone the next day, so I was getting very nervous and I took a test and I was positive for COVID-19. Brian was also positive for COVID-19, so at least I had someone to quarantine with, but I was also really disappointed for him as well. We both missed our commencement, um, which was, yeah, it was sad, but looking back, like we still got to watch it on the screen. At least we got to walk the stage and get our degrees, or not our real degrees. It was um, our real degrees were sent to the post, but the I guess temporary degrees we were given that day. He's a party animal. He is indeed. <laughs> oh, Lewis, you wild <laughs> thing. <laughs> we got to do that at least. So I'm very thankful for that. But um, yeah, unfortunately, we missed Patty Smith and Hillary Clinton. But in the meantime, my parents on on that day after we watched the ceremony on on the projector. Extraordinary, world class education, and not only put it to work in the service of your own dreams, as important as those are but also as a citizen, a citizen who believes that everyone is entitled to the same kind of education, that there is work to be done. We came down the stairs and my parents were there at the porch with masks on and they, they got me flowers and they got me the Columbus Spectator which had I had an article in and I will admit I was crying before these photos were taken but uh, it is a funny memory to look on, it's disappointing but you know these things happen. Fixing them up. Sure. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> We're going to soar around the world. Here it is. Are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests. What do we think of Epcot, guys? Do we like Epcot? I can't see Brian. There's Brian. When will my reflection show? Will I ask her how my singing is? <laughs> if she likes it? Brian, I am in my happy place. <laughs> like, you've no idea. Hello. Can you tell my favorite movie is Tangled? I don't think so. Guys, the heat lighting is going off. Thank you. 
Everything is possible, guys. Just believe.